Have you ever wanted to get attention and therapy at the same time? My name is Jessica and I founded Smash Pump. It's a pumpkin smashing experience. We provide people with the therapeutic benefits of rage rooms and the attention pouring of Instagram pop-up galleries. So I got the idea when I lost my dream job in advertising and I just broke every plate in my house. Little did I know my roommates were putting me on their Insta Live and I went viral. And then I was like, so what about a stupid job? You know, like I just got a million views. And so naturally I asked myself, how do I scale this business model that I just created? Um, the answer was to create this authentic, cathartic experience that was visceral, juicy, and orange. Turns out pumpkins emulate the same basic structure as a human skull, that crack the crunch, it's satisfying on an animalistic level. I don't condone violence in any way, but I do endorse closure. Is a placebo really a placebo if it works every time? Some people say that the adrenaline rush reminds them of going to a shooting range, so I said, good idea, and got a gun license. Most New Yorkers are anti-gun until they feel the impact that a shotgun blast has on their follower count. It's hard to argue with numbers. And to make it even more personal, customers can opt to work with an artisanal carver to design the scariest thing that they can think of. Oftentimes it's an X. Fire in the hole! And just like that, annihilate your nightmares. We're so confident in our business model that we provide a like per post guarantee, which means that if your smash pump post doesn't break your average like count, you don't pay. It's what I like to call paying attention. And because we're a net zero waste company, all the pumpkin pieces are upcycled into your very own pie, which you can take home with you at the end of the day. We call that being karma neutral. It's like carbon neutral, but more Buddhist. Some people say that we're the most narcissistic generation to have ever lived. People have always been obsessed with themselves. We're just honest about it.